Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm going to show you how to make beautiful music using only two chords on a 12 string. And yep, it's exactly the same two chords as in the six string version of this lesson, how to make beautiful music using only two chords, using finger style, of course. But because it's a six string, it's going to be a lot different than on a 12 string. It's actually a lot easier to make beautiful music using only two chords on a 12 string because of the way the 12 string is built. So um, the chords are E minor and C. Okay, but unlike on a six string, we're not going to use the high notes. Okay, we're not going to use the E and B strings as our anchor for creating the music. We're going to use the bass strings. Okay, if you've been following the 12 string series here on Lick and Riff, you know that on a 12 string, you actually focus on the bass strings, strings six, five, and four. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So if you just take these uh, two chords, E minor and C, and you just start playing simple arpeggios, just uh, any string using your thumb, any string, the sixth, the fifth, the fourth, and then after each bass string, you play any of the high three strings. E, B, or G, immediately you can get a feel of what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to show you how you can add licks to it. Okay, it's going to be very simple. We're aiming for a meditative sort of music. Okay, a meditative sort of sound, something that you can play without even thinking about it. Okay, so just start exploring the chords themselves E minor and C. This is what you want to explore first. So basically, all I'm doing is what I told you I was doing. I'm playing a bass string, then a high string. And I, I like the guitar not being in perfect tune because then I get a sort of a chorus sound from the strings. You might not like it, you might want your guitar to be in perfect tune. I prefer the slight detuning sound of the 12 string because this. It creates uh, a better sonic, atmospheric uh, effect uh, that I like, personally, okay? But if it bothers you, then tune your strings perfectly, okay? Basically, I'm just playing any of the bass strings with my thumb, and then I play the first or second strings. That, that's usually what I'm doing. If I want to play the third string, I'm using my thumb as well to get the right dynamic for it, okay? Because this is also uh, uh, an octave string, okay? So, okay, I'm, I'm using my thumb for the third string. So basically all I'm doing is using my thumb, then I play either the first or the second string, and then again, okay, I just repeat. Okay, the arpeggiating here occurs on the bass string. And after you do this, you can start hammering on notes, okay? Okay, you can do a hammer on to two on the fourth or the fifth. Okay, and okay, make sure you play both notes, not just one of them, both. Okay, so. Okay, you can also play a hammer on on the third string. 
So um, I like to add two on the first ring as well for a, an add nine sound. Mm. that option and then you can play C or C major 7. C with the open second string. Okay? Okay, and you can solo with the bass notes. Okay? 2-0 uh, on the D string, then 3-2 on the A string back to E minor. And you're back, and you can do the same thing. Okay, into C. You can do two zero on the D string, and then two three on the A. Okay, and then continue your arpeggiating. Now the G string is a very strong note here between the two. Okay, okay, it it can serve as a motif. So use it wisely, you don't want to play it all the time. Save the G string just for a special dramatic moment. Okay, you'll know, you'll feel when you want to play it. And when you add two on the E string, you can do it with the C chord as well. Okay? Okay, you can add. You can create a really nice sound out of it. You can also use the same note, F sharp, you can use it here on 4 on the D string. And then you get E minor add 9. Okay? And you have both the high F sharp note and the high E note, which is really nice. Uh, you can't get that on a regular 6 string. So you get... C, you can do the same uh, chord, but only move your finger from the uh, second fret on the fifth string to the third, and then you get a really nice chord. Okay, so it's three and four on strings five and four. Move two and three between two and three on the fifth string. You see, you can get all sorts of effects here. You can also add two on the third string and four on the fourth and see what you get out of this. Okay, you can get a sort of a C diminished chord here without it being truly diminished. Because the notes are all over the place. So it's still sort of a C chord. And two on strings five, four, and three. Okay, so um, try that. Try E minor and then the C diminished chord. Okay, and you can open any of those strings and then. Put the note back on. You can do 0, 4, 0, 2, 0, 3. Because you have high notes as well, it works. Of 
course you can add the high notes anytime you want where they're you know normally are okay play a normal C chord okay now the thing here is that you already have these notes because you have C you have it okay you have the C bass you have it an octave up okay you have you have that note so you can have the high C and the high B as well which is really really nice okay it's just like having the F sharp and E you can have both the high C and B okay now you can you can play it slowly you can speed it up I just played two and three on the fifth string. That's it. All the rest of the strings were open. And you, you saw, you, you heard it for yourself how beautiful it was. Because you have the high D as well. So you have the, you have the C add nine sound without doing anything. So if you add uh, two on the first string and you have uh, three on the fifth string, you get a really, really nice chord. This is a beautiful, beautiful chord. And then if you play two and two, you get E minor uh, seven add nine. So that's another option. Now. Some of you might be thinking uh, right now, you said it's gonna be simple. Try for yourself. It is simple. I'm not really doing anything. It's the 12th string doing most of the work. I'm not doing anything. I'm just putting on E minor and the C chord head. I'm not even putting the whole C chord on. I'm just putting on one note, okay? Just two and three on the fifth string. That's all I'm doing. All the rest is in the picking and I also, and I, I also prove to you the picking is not complex at all. It sounds complex because of the 12th string. That, that's why I love playing the 12th string so much. Okay, trust me on this. Try it yourself and you'll see. vibrating the two on the D string. I was just vibrating it wildly to get that effect. <clears throat> so, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. Go have fun with your guitar. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tons of free lessons. So, join us. Bye for now.